Carveling. I'm a painter and designer that lives in Miami, Florida, and I'm super pumped to finally get to paint a mural again. It's been a while since I've been able to paint really big outside because it's a really inspiring and meaningful project at South Miami Senior High School. I don't want to butcher or undersell the meaning of this project, so instead of hearing me ramble about it, I've got the organizer who's going to describe it. So my name is Gustavo Marshall and I am the president of the SMSH Alumni Association. The school is turning 50 years old next year. The administration and the Alumni Association are coming together to try and come up with creative ways to celebrate that 50 years old. Bring back the Cobra Pride. When I went to this school and there was a lot of energy, Alumni Association hopes to bring that all back. There's been a decrease in attendance and so we just want to come together and continue to make this school a good place to, to come, to be here, to take part, to help out, to be part of, you know, something great. The school is, you know, 50 years old, so it needs a little facelift and uh, we're looking to make it look nice and shiny and pretty by the time we all come together to celebrate. Thanks to Derek Wilson for organizing all the artists who set the bar really high before I got there. Ivan Roque did his version of the Cobra, DD Rock's amazing portrait, and right next to my wall you can see Ray Ramirez's work in progress. Alright, finally at the school and ready to get started. Uh, I'm going to sneak in as much time as I can today at the end of the day and get the sketch up, and then uh, hopefully day one the sketch can be done, then I can buff it, and then just spend the whole weekend on it. I'm pumped, I don't want to waste any more time and get to it. So I know this probably looks insane and not like anything I would normally paint, but what I do is I take a picture of all this madness, put it on my iPad, kind of get it positioned right, take the sketch from my concept drawing, put it over top of it, then I adjust that positioning to get it right on this newer image, uh, get the opacity right so I can kind of see through it. And then once all that looks good, I'll just airdrop it to my phone. And then as I'm going, I have this new image on my phone that I use as a reference while I'm painting the rest of it. I'm feeling so good about that progress. This is the first in months that I've been able to paint a big mural, um, which is my absolute favorite thing. So it feels like a great release to be back out here. And uh, yeah, ripped through that in about, I don't know, like an hour. Got the sketch there in a good spot. Tomorrow gonna black it all in. Uh, finish the sketch going down the rest of it. But man, like just being in that lift again, I was almost getting teary up there and uh, no, it just felt great. Come back tomorrow, hopefully finish it this weekend. Uh, made some good progress, but now it's starting to pour. I'm glad I made the decision to just start painting the bottom part. At least that stuff looks a little covered. I think it's dry. I don't know. We'll see. But it's just wild. It's not a normal Miami storm. This isn't going to be over in 10 minutes, so I'll be back tomorrow. stop threatening I swear every time I try uh, starting to paint the rain starts coming I'm just gonna have to change it up again and do the bottom part start with the colors down there so at least I can get uh, something done but I don't know the rain might pass but I don't want to risk it so, and yeah and up in the lift <laughs> seeing all that coming I don't know it's not raining yet not the way I'd want to work but whatever I gotta at least keep moving <laughs> a 
ton of great progress yesterday. Again, I think the theme of this has been like deciding what to do when it's threatening rain and figuring something else out. But now I've kind of exhausted all those options. So moving kind of slow, but today I think this is going to be the day where I like really crank and get a ton of it done. Hopefully the weather's going to hold out because I really don't have any more any more things I can do if it starts to rain. But really, really pumped about it, and I'm driving up now. Um, here pretty early, so I'm gonna get as much done as I can and hopefully not get destroyed by the sun. Gotta give a major shout out and thank you to Drone Excel Beard for these insane drone shots and just being so easy to work with and make me look way, way cooler. Once again, the rain started to threaten, so I still had one last thing to do, which was paint this ceiling, and luckily the lift was able to fit nice and snug underneath. Made some really, really awesome progress. I think because I haven't been able to paint in like, I don't know, four or five months at this size, that I was just ready to go. Um, got that whole top done, the whole bottom, basically all the brushwork's done, but it's like outrageously hot and I made the big mistake of forgetting my hat for a little bit and I forget now that I'm bald that um, that's gonna hurt tomorrow. So I'm gonna get out of the sun, sit in the car in my, my little mobile art studio and work on figuring out the shading because once it, um, once it gets a little cooler, I think if I can be in the lift in there for like three hours, I think I should be able to finish this up. Uh, but I'm really, really happy with where it's going, that it's kind of bending with the structure and the way that it's working underneath that ceiling, which from a distance it looks kind of jagged, but as you like turn into it, it's got a really cool effect that I, I couldn't have planned out. So just got to figure out how to get the shading to work everywhere, bring it 3D. But now just some deep, intense AC and, uh, <laughs> and take a long break because it's insanely hot out here. <laughs> shading turned out. I'm still happy that I don't really know exactly what to expect. I can't really control spray paint that great. It's got some of those little nuances from the sunflower that I was trying to bring in. It's definitely not realistic. It's totally my own, but it's still got notes of like some things that are correct about lighting and like the form of it. Even though I wasn't able to practice and just being able to like think about what I would do if I were able to paint, it still kind of helped. Um, so no matter what, I gotta always remind myself that even if I can't be out painting, it's still, there's still ways to make progress in thinking about it or planning. And now it's just the very, very last step of adding in that shadow. <laughs> finished it I'm so happy with how it came out yeah just been thinking about it for so long finally was able to attack it hopefully the next project will be soon but with everything in the world I can't count on any of that so gotta just keep remembering that like this is a blessing to get to do this um, especially in a school which is awesome and I did a sunflower because I wanted to one sunflowers look awesome and they're so cool but what's really awesome about sunflowers not only are they gorgeous and really fun um, the fact that they always just face toward the sun is really cool to me. To me is like such an awesome message and um, and they look so cool and they're so much fun to paint. So I'm so happy with how this turned out. All right, check it out.
major thank you to Derek Wilson for organizing all this and all your passion behind the project to bring more art to your high school, the Alumni Association, and I really just hope all the students get inspired by this or it's just something exciting to look at when they get to come back to school whenever it's safe.